Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Sports on Prime with me, Oreku Wampofo. Well, it appears we took the impact of sports on our lives for granted. The routine sports and weekends have been reshaped to suit the dictates of COVID-19. But if you think you have been hardly hit by COVID-19 as a fan of the game, ask an investor. Joy Sports Hands mentor and Muftal Nabila Abdullahi have been speaking to some investors in the sport. The three leagues, that's the Premier League, the Division One, and the Women's League, collectively employs about, about 40,000 uh, people. There may not be signs backing the contribution of sports to Ghana's economy, but it is a known fact it contributes significantly to the country's economic fortunes. The sector employs thousands directly and indirectly, and it has not been spared by the coronavirus pandemic. There has been no sporting events since the president, His Excellency Nana Adudan Kwakufuado, announced the suspension of all social gatherings over a month ago. And this has had a profound impact on nearly all sectors, including sports. The conversation about the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on sports has been largely centered around football, with proposed pay cuts for players in Ghana's top division taking center stage. What about private individuals whose businesses are pivoted around sports? Right Sports are organizers of the annual Sprite Ball Basketball Championship, the country's premier basketball competition for second cycle institutions. They also organize UPAC Basketball Championship and the Ghana Basketball Awards. A huge uh, impact on our basketball activities this year. I mean, fortunately, we started with, uh, as we do every year, we started with the Sprite Ball Championship, which was very successful. And we continue with the UPAC Basketball Championship, which we do annually for universities. And then COVID-19. And with the virus expected to linger around for a very long time to come, and considering the fact that we work with the academic calendar of the institutions, we are still confused as to when we can even resume these activities. Remember that most of the activities that you see right sports engage in, these activities are pre-financed. If you see us doing Sprite Ball, we need to invest money into Sprite Ball. I have to take loans from banks to finance the events. Boxing is a major sport in Ghana. A gentleman who has paid his dues to the game and continues to do so is Alex Intiamwa, a boxing promoter and manager. His company, Box Office Promotions, employs a number of boxers. The coronavirus pandemic and the ban on sports activities have put the brakes on his business, but he continues to pay boxers and other employees. He says government must extend the hand of support to private individuals who invest directly into sports? Um, it has not been easy as a boxing promoter and manager because, um, you know, uh, our work evolves around events. And due to this uh, COVID-19, events must be suspended to further notice because we don't know how the trend will go. Daniel Esiedu owns a sports merchandise shop, Sportsnet. Since 1992, he's provided sporting equipment to individuals, schools, churches, and other entities. But for over a month now, the once patronized shop has been deserted. He has suffered unimaginable losses. Okay, in fact, since the COVID started, our business, our sports business is like we deal with the clubs, the football clubs, the schools, they buy their volleyballs, soccer balls, their jerseys, and everything from us. So with this, we are having a problem because the churches also buy trophies for their competitions, their Bible competitions. They are also not functioning. The sports clubs, the fit, uh, keep fit clubs, they are all not functioning. So we are also not functioning because they are not buying. Nobody is doing anything, so we don't have anything. So we are also very, very hit hard, and we hope when there are issues and there are settlements with the companies, will be also considered as being hit with the COVID. The fortunes of these individuals and their businesses depends on how well Ghana deals with the coronavirus pandemic.
With no clear timelines in place, it is difficult to know what the future holds for Daniel and other investors in the sector. It appears for now that they can only go by the dictates of COVID-19. That wraps it up for the sports segments, but we do have some more sports stories for you later on the second segment after 8 p.m. My name is Eric Wampofo, and remember to stay safe.